Welcome back, Seth Blung here. What I've got for you today is a method of using the hoppers from the 13W1B snapshot to create an automatic item sorting system. Uh, it's infinitely expandable, but I've only done, I've only had, I only have two items in this system. So here's what, here's what I'm talking about. We have an input chest here. This is where we're going to put all the items we want sorted. We have a diamond chest here. This is where all the diamonds are going to go. Uh, we've got another gold chest here. This is where all the gold's going to go. So those are the only two items that are going to get sorted. Anything else is going to go into this miscellaneous chest. All right, so let me actually go ahead and put some items in here. First I'll put, throw in some diamonds, a bit of gold, and then some charcoal and random crap. Alright, so now the, the diamonds are getting sucked out of this chest. They're going into this hopper. And before they get a chance to get pushed off to the next hopper, this hopper down here is actually sucking them out. And it's putting them down into this minecart. Now, once the minecart, once uh, once this chest ran out of diamonds, this minecart is going to now drop down, and it's going to sit on top of this hopper, which is going to put the diamonds down into the diamond chest. Okay, so then the gold is now getting sucked out. It's going into this hopper. Uh, this one, the diamond one, is trying to suck them out of this hopper, but it can't because it's full of diamonds. So they get pushed off to this one, and then this hopper right here is full of diamonds. So it's sucking all the gold, sorry, it's full of gold. So it's sucking all the gold out of this hopper and putting them into this uh, minecart. So this minecart has all of the uh, all the gold that we put in that input chest. That's getting put through the hopper and into the gold chest where we want it to be. So now all that all that charcoal's getting put into the hoppers. Uh, again, it's getting put into this one. This one tries to suck it out of this one, but it can't because it's full of diamonds. Again, this one tries to suck it out of this one, but it can't because it's full of gold. So it's just getting put straight into this chest because these hoppers are pointing sideways and that's where they're going to try and put the items. Okay, it's a lot to take in, <laughs> but I'm going to go over it piece by piece. So the first thing you need to know, and this is something I haven't shown in any of my videos yet, is hoppers can point sideways. So when you, put an, when you place a hopper, it looks at what face you're placing it on. If you put it on the ground, place it on the ground like this, it'll be pointing downwards. But if you right click on the side of a block, it's actually going to be pointing sideways. So here we go, it's pointing sideways. If I right click on this face of the block, it's pointing sideways. And if they were actually pointing at a chest sideways, instead of trying to put an item in the chest below it, it's going to put it in the chest beside it. So if I put this charcoal in here, it's not going to put any items in this chest because it's pointing sideways. It's putting them all in this chest. All right, pretty simple, very nice feature. Uh, and so that's that's what's going on with these two hoppers. They still suck in items from above. So this one gets the items from the chest up here, and then uh, it, so it pushes it into this one. Uh, and then this one also tries to push items into this one. The thing is, though, the items that are sucking from below get priority. So before either of these hoppers gets to push items out, the items that are sucking in from below will suck items out if they can. So any diamonds that come through this are always going to go through into this hopper. But anything else won't go into this hopper because there's no room for anything else. And same thing for this gold one. So it's important to fill these up. So that's kind of how the flow works up here. The question, the, the next question in your mind might be, oh, what's the deal with this minecart? How come, how come the piston pushes the minecart up when the hopper starts sucking up items? Well, here's how that works. Uh, hoppers, and, and basically any other container actually, have this feature where if you have a comparator pointing out of them, They'll, the comparator will output a signal depending on how many items are in the hopper. So if I put one charcoal in, it's not going to do anything. If I put 32 charcoal in, 33, it has a signal strength of 1 because it's about 1 15th full. If I put a full stack in, it's got a signal strength, strength of 3 because it's 1 5th full. And 3 is 1 5th of 15, which is the maximum redstone signal strength. If I put in another stack, we get up to six, and if I just fill it up all the way, we get a full full strength signal, 15, and that goes for 15 blocks. So what I've done over here is, uh, basically this diamond hopper is almost full enough to emit a signal of strength one. It's uh, two diamonds away.
from that. So when it does get two diamonds put into it, two or more, uh, what's going to happen is this, gonna, this is going to output a signal, this comparator, uh, of strength one or higher, which will get put into this redstone dust, and this repeater will pick it up, and it'll cause this piston to fire. So basically, as long as this guy has more than, was it, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, as long as, as, long as this hopper has more than 21 items in it, um, this piston is going to be extended, which means this minecart is going to be underneath this nozzle. Let me put in a few more diamonds so we can see that. So yeah, we can see this minecart is a little bit underneath this nozzle. It's not fully underneath, but it's enough that the game recognize it, recognizes it, and it's putting the items in the minecart. Eventually this hopper will, you know, get rid of enough of its items and it'll stop outputting a signal to this comparator, at which point this piston retracts and this minecart is now sitting on top of this hopper, which is going to suck the items out of it and they'll get put into the diamond chest. So that's, I mean, that's basically what's going on. The same thing is going on for the gold one. I've just pointed it the opposite direction. Yeah, the entire gold layer here is just the exact same thing as the diamond layer, just pointing the opposite direction. And that's what lets you tile it. Uh, I just had to point them the opposite direction because otherwise some redstone would get convoluted and, uh, and, and, and it would, the redstone wouldn't quite work. But, so you can repeat these layers going opposite directions ad infinitum. You can do it as much as you want. Um, you'll hit the chunk limit eventually. <laughs> but you can actually use the system to sort all the items you want. And I guess one final note I'll make is, uh, is that the storage minecarts here need to be kind of between blocks. It needs to be over this hopper, but when the piston pushes up, it also needs to be underneath this hopper. So I'll show you how I did that. Uh, hopefully I didn't get any items. Okay, I got the minecart in there. I'll show you how I did that. Basically, you just put a block on top of the piston and a rail on top of that. Put the storage minecart down and just give it a tiny little nudge and, until it's not on the rail anymore, and then break that block. And there you go. Now, I just accidentally sucked all the gold out of this one because uh, I put the, uh, the minecart there, so i got to be careful about that. But yeah, so now it's working. Everything is functioning. Uh, the minecart is sucking in the items from this hopper. And so that's, that's all you have to do to get the minecart in the correct position. You want to make sure that the minecart isn't deviating at all to the left or right. Uh, I think that might cause it to, for instance, start sucking the items out of this hopper if it was a little bit off to that direction, which would be bad. But uh, if you do what I, what I just showed you, that shouldn't happen. Yeah, so that's that's the sorting system. Uh, I think it's going to be very useful for a lot of people, and I will definitely keep you up to date with uh, with more things that I figure out about these hoppers, comparators, etc. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. fine but you can't move